right, today we're going over Heroes of Hammerwatch Final Edition. Uh, it has finally been fully released. This is the full game. Uh, the last video I had was the early release edition. And while it still holds true for the early release edition, so many things have gotten better and worse all at the same time. So, <coughs> we're going to start off, I'm going to show you how to get rid of your old save files if you played the early release, so that way you can start off fresh and new when it comes to playing the full game itself. So what you do is you go into your Steam account, and you go to where it says Heroes of Hammerwatch. You right click, hit Properties, and right here on this tab it says Local Files. Go ahead and click that and it says Browse Local Files. Click that too. Now here's the full game of Heroes of Hammerwatch, everything from its EXE executable application, executable ac application, to the packager that actually gets it downloaded onto your machine. But this is the folder we're looking for right here. It's called Saves. You double click that and you can see it's got all the different slots that are here. I'm not sure what this means. That's not my forte. But all you have to do is right, uh, highlight them all, right click them, cut them out of there. As you can see here, I made a, uh, an old saves folder on my desktop. And you right click and paste them in here. Uh, you don't have to do this. You can just delete them and it's just fine. Um, but I put in a lot of hours into the uh, the full edition, <laughs> and I don't want to lose what I've gotten so far. Uh, so that's it. This is now empty. If you go back, you'll see saves here. It's still here because you don't need to delete the folder itself. You can if you want to, uh, but I don't take chances like that because it's not my thing. All right, so we're going to X that off, and finally, we're going to hit play. Play Heroes of Hammer Watch O'Clock. Now, one of the big differences that happened from the uh, the early release to the full release of the game is the Ranger. Uh, in the in the original game, and this is what I was mostly excited about, when you played the Ranger, the further away you were from your target, the less damage you did. Okay? Uh, ferrets may need to be released. And... What they changed in the full release edition is they closed a bathroom door and <laughs> and they made it to where no matter how far away you are as the ranger, you still do the exact same amount of damage. And that's That doesn't sound like a lot, but it is actually flipping huge. So first thing I'm gonna do is enable the music again. Because man, this game is awesome. So you're in first place, as you can see, I've got nothing here now. I deleted my save files. We're going to go in as the Ranger. And all the abilities have also been updated. So if you're coming back into uh, Here's a Hammer Watch, make sure to read these. Because as you can see, with Twinned Arrows, they have a chance of splitting and seeking a new target. Um, which I think was the same that it was before. I'm not entirely sure on that. I want to say that was the same, because it did, it, they did seek the new target. And that's that's how you accidentally hit the <laughs> you hit the uh, the statues in the third act. Is how that happened. Marked prey. Uh, now the bow shot has a chance of marking enemies. Marked targets have a chance to receive critical damage from all sources of damage. I believe this is more for like multiplayer play, uh, but you can also use it as usual in single player just to to, to stomp down on somebody. Um, this is one that's definitely new. It's called on the prowl. Uh, before this, I believe he had an evasion, a flat evasion buff, if I remember right. Uh, on the prowl says, when casting a skill, the ranger receives a movement and evasion buff that lasts for a few seconds. Uh, the big difference here is it gives mo movement and evasion, but it's just when you're casting a skill. And I don't think your primary attack counts as a skill because it doesn't take anything from... Um, what is that called? Hold on. I'll figure it out. Uh, now, me personally, it doesn't really matter what you do the hair. Uh, the skin, I like it to be the first shade up here, and the cloak, I like it to be blue. And then with the hood, we also do blue. We make sure the bow is a crazy color so I can see where he's facing. It's, uh, it's a big part of making sure you know where you're facing for certain items. And we're just going to keep Avon up there. It's not a big deal. So this is WASD. All the controls are the exact same. As you can see, you're slow as balls when you first start off. Oh my goodness. Um, but from here, you can see that no matter how far away I get from that guy, I'm still doing the 10 damage. And that's what makes him uh, the best starter character now. Now, in my last video, if you, if you watched it, 
that was early release in the last video the sorcerer oh, 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 boy he was he was the way to go uh, but in this one it's the ranger mm. and there are so many reasons as to why it's the ranger um, okay so he also changed in his his main active ability now it's power shot which just does this just this big arrow that just goes across the screen and obliterates everything in front of it and it is it is quite spectacular um that's really it on the change of the skills um for the ranger i have to be very specific on the ranger that cat's water bowl needs water uh because every single uh character had a buff and it's been it's a pretty big buff it does all different things uh, with nothing, you just go into the tower for the first time. I should be able to get past the second boss, but I'm not entirely sure. It's It's been a long time since I've done the original go. And even without a level into this, it still pierces its first target, which makes it super useful. And you can see the accuracy is a little bit better as well. Um, I'm not having to try as hard. To hit them, they may have changed the hitboxes on the enemies or something. I'm not entirely sure. Again, not my forte. Um, but the ranger is the best to start with when you're trying to get your new file going. Um, and again, there's there's so many reasons as to why that's a thing. But for the most part, it's due to um, he gives you attack power. So here on your your character sheet. Uh, you have the attack power, the skill power, all of your resistances and your critical strikes. Uh, but with attack power, it increases your primary attack's damage. Um, and what's important about that, hold on one second. What's important about that is they've improved every character's main attack. So their primary attack is all super duper awesome. Um, and when the ranger defeats the enemies, uh, the big bosses of all the different acts, he actually gives an attack power boost to the entire guild. So that's what makes him also more worthwhile to use as your first character to get where you need to go. They've also changed a bunch of the items as well. So again, if you've played the um, early release, it's not called early release, it's called... Um, Is it early release? If you've played the early release version, you're going to want to look at the items you're picking up as well. Now, as usual, there is no reason to not pick up an item ever. Like, if you come across an item and you don't pick it up, that's... No, don't do that. That's stupid. There's, <laughs> there's not a single item that doesn't 100% benefit you in what you're building. Or what you're doing. or Even if it's not what you're doing specifically, it would, it would do something. For instance, I don't want to take hits as the uh, as the ranger that's just not how he rolls he's not that hardcore but i do uh i would still pick up the protective scarab because the protective scarab says when you get hit he releases poison darts in all directions and that is an awesome item <laughs> but i wouldn't pass it up just because i don't want to take hits as the ranger because that means when i do take a hit whether it be you know uh crazy out of control circumstances or you know, there's just too many things flying on the screen for me to be able to dodge well. I would, I would still be able to kill everything around me because it does. I think it's 25 flat damage, and then it poisons all the enemies that it hits, and that's that's a lot in the beginning. As you can see, I'm doing seven and eight damage. Can you imagine if I was doing 25? That's that's what that one one ability does. No, it's it's a it's a rare item. Uh, it's certainly not going to be in every run of the dungeon you do, but you know, it does stuff. Also, there's no longer a flat movement boost with this ability. As you can see, I'm going the same speed while using it. So it's no longer a movement boosting ability. Once you get, I can't see it here, it's not in the town. Once you get the the movement boost when using a skill, then it, it does apply a movement boost, but it does to every skill you use. And it doesn't matter which skill you use. It just includes all skills, which would be that. Is 
game's really intense when you first play it um, as a new character because you don't have any items. I don't. I don't have anything right now. This is just flat art. This is just flat ranger shooting arrows into the dark, hoping that it hits its target. <laughs> um, but it gets better uh, even after just the first run. I'll have five ore in town and some amount of gold. I'm not sure what I'm gonna send back. Because of the shops. Oh, there's a key right there. That's good. Uh, this is going to be the first video of a few we're going to do on Heroes of Hammer Watch. Um, they have upgraded the game to where there's a new ending area, and I will not be showing said ending area uh, on my videos. There's also a new boss who is spectacular and very well done. Um, it's it's more or less not how much damage you do, but how well you can do a fight. And that's, that's pretty good for me. I, I enjoyed that a lot. Now, don't get me wrong. If you do, you know, if you're doing end game damage on this boss, he's, he's going to do it on quick. <laughs> but you have to know a very specific thing about fighting him, and that's why I'm not going to show that boss fight uh, on my videos, because that's, that's not cool. Uh, fancy trick, so you know, uh, these are all built up, it's, it's a grid-like um, setup in the game. So it reads everything as squares on the ground. Um, so what you saw, saw me do there is I, I sneaked across this here corner. Now even if this came back on while I was sneaking across that corner, I would have only taken one tick of damage. Whereas if I would have gone around this way, this would have been three or four. Now even one tick may kill me, because I, <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't have any items. I have a mana regen uh, ring now, but uh, yeah, one tick could have killed me, but that that's just one little thing you'll learn as you go down the way. Now that is the uh, Apothecary. He lets you have this here gem. He's always on the second floor. You do have to find him before you have access to your bottle. Uh, bats are jerks. All bats. All bats are jerks. Never changes. I was gonna go get that money, but I didn't, that was a bat spawner. It's very small. Very jerk-like. Uh, I'm not sure how bats fit in it, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Uh, as the ranger, when you come across a large grouping of bats, and you're like, man, F these bats, all you gotta do is right-click, and your problems go away. 90% of the time. going to be very difficult to do. Uh, this is your first, they're not bosses, they're not mini bosses, there's nothing like that, but they are the first difficult enemy you'll come across. They're the aberrations that are sitting on the floor, and this one is represented um, right now by this red X here. This shows a tower is what they're considered. Uh, they cannot move, they don't spawn anything, they just can do damage to you. Um, this little plus right here, You'll see that right there on the map, the red plus, or the black plus with the red around it. That's a spawner. It makes additional enemies for you to have to kill. Um, <clears throat> so, how I knew that guy was in there is his attack is a fissure on the ground. And the fissure is how you know it's, it's one of the towers. So I'm going to hopefully not attract his attention here and kill as much of this room as I can before going in. Because this is going to be quite the pain. And as an aberration, he actually takes reduced damage. I believe that might be because he's a tower. Not entirely sure. But I can actually shoot him off screen. And as you can see, he was trying to shoot me off screen as well. Um, so it doesn't mean you're necessarily safe, even though you can hit him and can't see him. Nope. Nope. Oh, gosh. Poison's the worst. Ugh. I'm going to grab this here apple so I'm not red. Poison's the worst. Poison cannot kill you. It's very important for you to know this. Um, however, as you can see, I'm at very low life because it does take damage. Now, it's not health-based damage. It's just a flat damage. So early on, poison is going to be your nemesis. Uh, an easy way to avoid it is A, don't get hit. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, but B, more importantly, is wait to pick up your food until after the poison ticks off. 
Even if I went down to 1 HP, it would not have killed me. Poison damage cannot kill you. Burning damage can. You learn that the hard way. <laughs> that can make your life go blow one. Uh, but poison cannot. So here we've done. We've already cleared the whole floor. Uh, I'm going to go use the well over here because I'm a little low on HP. And then we're going to go drop off our ore and our uh, monies. Now, these don't have to appear on every floor. So the way I generally do it, and this is actually probably stupid, so we'll, we'll just move forward. It's fine. I'm not going to die. Uh, but if it's if, if you're a little leery on you know your survivability, survivability, then I would suggest going ahead and uh, dropping off your monies on the last floor. Now, see, I saved my monies because there's a shop here. Uh, there's also, this is very interesting. I'm loving this. Uh, when they finished the game off, they decided that they were going to do uh, one shop per set per act. So I didn't have a shop in the last part of the floor. And that means that my shop was going to be on this floor. And I knew that because there has to be, oh my gosh, one shop per, per uh, area. And since I didn't see a shop in the last area, I knew my shop was going to be on this floor. And that's why I didn't send my stuff back. As you can see, as I'm moving, I'm slowed because I'm also firing. But if I stop firing, my movement speed picks up. That's very important to remember when it comes to uh, trying to dodge enemies. Um, so like, for instance, if one of those, that was an elite mob, the beetle there, if he'd have gotten too close to me, I'd have stopped shooting to try and make him uh, go away. <laughs> to get a little bit more distance on him. Um, I don't have any upgrades right now, so my movement speed is absolutely trash. So here's the shop. There's a few bit different upgrades that's been done with the shop itself. Uh, number one is now you can buy three items. And you can see that down here, zero of three. Um, I am just starting out. But I think the best three items here for my ranger, because I have nothing else. <laughs> It's going to be the heavy gauntlets because I need 15 extra health. That's going to boost my 56 up to 71. Super nice item. And you can see I have one of three. So I've only got two left that I can pick. Um, and that doesn't matter. If you get the fancy plume, you can still only buy three items. It just gives you more choices to buy from. Uh, we're going to go with the spiked flail and the wizard's wand. Now you can see if I talk to him again, these are blacked out. I can't buy these. I'm at three of three. So he's done. I can't do anything else with the shop. Uh, in the pre-release version, haha. <laughs> Uh, you could buy all the items in the shop. And see, now my damage is up to 15 and 12, which is spectacular. And that was a new trap room. I'm sorry I had to focus. Not too used to doing it in such a low uh, movement speed here. But uh, they just constantly fall. They do not stop falling. Now, we've already hit the shop for this floor, this set of floors. Another rule with the shops is they cannot show up on the first floor of an act. So right now, if you look up in this corner that you can't see, hold on. Let me just here. All right, so if you look up here in this here corner, wait for it, in this here corner, you see we're on mines floor three. Each set of... Uh, floors there's three of them there's the first one the second one and the third one we're on the third one okay so when it's ever whenever it's the first floor you cannot find a shop on that floor so there's no harm in sending back oh, you little bastards. there's no harm in sending back our loot uh, as it stands currently because it doesn't really matter we can't come across another shop for a long time Now what I always do is I try and clear the floor first um, before I send back. We're also on the third floor, which means the next floor is the boss for the mines. Um, and there's always, always, always an elevator before the bosses. That That has not changed. They're not mean, evil people, the developers of this game. Like, they, <laughs> they know some bosses can throw you some curveballs. Um, 
Now, you will always have an elevator before a boss, but you will not always have a fountain. That's, that's very important to know. Now, see, I stayed out of range of that mohawk -y guy. He's the real jerk. Uh, to make sure he didn't fire on me. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why the ranger is now the first character you should play when you come into Heroes of Watch. Now, if you saw there, the enemy had a red outline on it. I have that turned on. That's turned on by default. Um, you're looking down at an angle like this at your character. So these walls aren't actually walls here. They're the standing of these walls. And you can see about the distance as, as far as this wall is from the bottom to the ceiling. And that's, that's kind of how you can judge what can and can't be gone into. Um, but you'll get the hang of it as time goes on. Oh. Just trying to itch there, guys. Uh, you'll get the hang of it as time goes on. Uh, there's certain traps and trap rooms that have that mechanic in it that you have to figure out. And it took me forever, too. I died, I can't tell you, like 12 times to a single trap room in the mines, too. I was like, I got it this time. I got it, man. And uh, I just I didn't realize that that was the mechanic they were trying to showcase. So I just uh, bit the bullet and died. Not on purpose, either. I was like, I got this. I'm going to make this happen. Yeah. And I died anyway. It was uh, it was awesome. It actually wasn't. It was very frustrating because uh, by that point, um, okay, uh, by that point I was already buying stuff in town to bring into the dungeon with me. So what I'm sending back to town here is 12 ore and 810 gold. You can see here where there's a two percent tax on it. Um, there was a huge issue in the pre-release where you would go and fight the dragon. The dragon is still the last boss. Uh, you would go and fight the dragon. And after you fought him, uh, your ship was still taxed. Yeah. So even though you made it to the end of the game and you saved all your money and you were able to kill the dragon with all this loot on you, it didn't make any difference. The town was still like, we need our peace. The mayor was just holding his hand out as you killed the dragon. Which I found to be very, very frustrating. Uh, but they did change it to where now... Uh, if you kill the dragon, your tax percentage is less. So as all first game bosses, he's fairly simple. As long as you don't do fall it off. That's why you send your stuff back early. All right, that death wasn't supposed to happen, <laughs> but it's fine. That was the first go in. That's the first boss, as you can see, just losing focus for just a moment. Done. So we're going to restart here. We're going to stay as the rogue, A, because I haven't made any other characters, and B, because you want to make sure you kill at least the first two bosses before you, uh, you change characters up, and I'm going to explain that here in a second. Whew, so here's the main man. Okay, you come into him and he changes the. He's in charge of distributing ore amongst the merchants. Uh, basically, he just charges you an arm and a leg to literally do anything. So, as you can see, you started off already with the general store at one, the guild hall at one, and the treasury at one. But you've got to get the blacksmith, the ore trader, and the apothecary. Now, you have to pay for those. Those aren't free. Alright? This ain't no free ride. You gotta go in the tower and pay for stuff. So, what I like to do. Is I'm going to upgrade the town hall uh, because that allows me the second rendition, uh, the second version of all those. And it also unlocks the fountain, which has got to be my favorite thing so far um, that they've upgraded. Instead of getting random things that you don't know what you've got or don't got, uh, what it does is you get to pick what you go in with. And it comes at a price, of course, and I'll, I'll showcase that in the next, uh, in the next video I do. Uh, but I'm not going to wait for, for three ore, it looks like. Yeah. So instead, we're going to buy the... Uh, 
as the ranger, the blacksmith will probably be the most handy thing to have. So that's what we're going to do. Now, every time you X that screen off after purchasing something, the screen goes black and it refreshes because you've changed something on the screen. Oh my god, I want this so bad. It's such a bad idea. I'm doing it. <laughs> I have no monies. All right. So that's the basics of it. This is that was about as good as a first run as you could. You could. That would be an average first run. I shouldn't have died on that boss. What I was doing is I was looking at my target as opposed to uh, where I was in relation to harm and damage. <laughs> um, yeah, so here is another big thing. Uh, the bow shot is his primary attack. So that's when I left click. That was all the arrows you saw going off. When I was spinning around is flurry of arrows, right? But here's where their primary attacks become so much better. And this is what I wanted to show you. So here, you've got the ranger spins around and fires 32 arrows of your current level of bow shot. And the current level of bow shot means you're gonna want bow shot, excuse me, all the way up here because this is no longer dependent on anything but your skill level of bow shot. And that's what makes his primary attack even more sought after because you're not, even if you're using your abilities, it's based on the level of your, your primary attack, you see? totally worth having um so with the ranger oh it's it's bow shot all the way for me to be totally honest now you can do this if you want um on the ranger i currently have i haven't brought him all the way to end game yet i don't believe i haven't gotten him to ng plus one uh i <laughs> i used him to get to the wizard the wizard's my favorite and then i went with the wizard hardcore and then I was like, oh, I need money. So I started going with the thief because the thief is my second favorite. Uh, first time in with the thief, uh, I was able to beat it. <laughs> I went up and whooped the dragon's butt. I got some super good RNG and, and all kinds of craziness. You shouldn't do that. Uh, you shouldn't be able to do that, rather. And so I took him from level 1 to 15 in one go. It wasn't even quick. It was, <laughs> it was slow. All right, so what we're going to do level up the arrows of fury and then uh, this is where this video is going to end everything else is pretty much stayed the same I'm gonna come back in a little later um, with my actual save file and show you where the town goes uh, that's gonna be the next video I do for hammer watch am I missing anything I think that was about it and then we're gonna show off some of the new things they put into hammer watch and I'm gonna do that with my my current save file as opposed to this one uh, but yeah, if, if, when it comes to doing your first go around, the Ranger is the way to go. Their damage in range is just too much to, to work away from. You can see I was able to keep a very safe distance away uh, from the main boss. I know I died. It was the bats. Bats! And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the Ranger is the way to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this video now. I'm going to make another one literally here in like 20 minutes. Um, and load up my other file and show you the new upgrades and what you can do versus what you could have done in the past and some of the new items I've got unlocked on my other account. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope this really does help you. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to them as I see them. Good luck, friends.